EasyCEP Direct is a fast, column-free, and fully immunomagnetic platform for isolating cells directly from whole blood without RBC lysis, density gradient centrifugation, or other pre-processing steps. This technical video will demonstrate the general protocol for using EasyCEP Direct with the EasyEight's EasyCEP magnet. If you're using the purple, silver, or Easy50 magnets, please see the video links below. For kit-specific details, please refer to the product information sheet for your kit. First, add whole blood to a round bottom tube. If you are isolating myeloid cells, EDTA must be added to the blood. Please refer to the product information sheet for EDTA concentrations. Vortex the EasyCEP Direct rapid spheres for about 30 seconds to ensure that they are well mixed and evenly suspended. Add the EasyCEP Direct isolation cocktail to the blood sample. Add the EasyCEP Direct rapid spheres to the sample. Mix using a pipette. Blood is viscous, so using a pipette will ensure that the EasyCEP reagents and sample are well mixed. Incubate at room temperature. Most kits will require a 5-minute incubation but check the product information sheet for appropriate times. Top up the sample using the recommended medium. For lymphoid isolations, we suggest using calcium and magnesium-free PBS. For myeloid cell isolations, use calcium and magnesium-free PBS with one millimole EDTA. The final volume will depend on the sample size and the magnet you are using. Please refer to the magnet-specific protocol on the PIS. Mix by gently pipetting up and down two to three times. Place the tube into the magnet without a lid. Make sure the tube is seated fully in the indentation. Incubate at room temperature. Check the product information sheet for incubation times. During the incubation, the magnetically labeled unwanted cells and red blood cells will be pulled to the back and bottom of the tube by the magnet. Because of the volume of red blood cells in whole blood, you will observe a blood divot forming at the bottom of the tube, between the red blood cells and the clear supernatant. When using the easy Eights magnet, the clear supernatant containing enriched cell suspension must be pipetted off. Do not pour off. For the 5 mil side of the magnet, use a 2 mil pipette. For the 14 mil side of the magnet, use a 10 mil pipette. For easier visualization, the easy 8s magnet can be placed at a 45 degree angle. Touch the tip of the pipette to the front edge of the tube. Collect the clear upper fraction of the cell suspension from top to bottom as you slowly move down the front side of the tube. Take care not to disturb the particles on the magnet side of the tube. As you move down the tube, collect the entire upper fraction. The RBC layer will gradually move upwards as the upper clear fraction is pipetted off. If you are isolating myeloid cells, such as monocytes, neutrophils, or other granulocytes, there is a fixed collection volume. There will be some red blood cells in this fixed volume. This is to ensure optimal recovery. Please refer to the product information sheet for the volume of cell suspension which should be collected. If you are isolating lymphoid cells, such as T cells, B cells, or NK cells, collect the entire upper phase from top to bottom, moving down the front side of the tube. Also collect a small volume of the RBC pellet, up to 10% of the original sample volume. Transfer the cell suspension into a new tube. In this first magnetic separation, the cell suspension may appear quite red because of residual red blood cells. If you see this, do not be concerned. The majority of RBCs have been depleted, and the suspension will clear up in subsequent rounds of separation. Add EasyCEP Direct rapid spheres to the new tube containing the enriched cell suspension. Mix and incubate at room temperature. Check the product information sheet for incubation times. Remove the lid and place the tube containing the enriched cell suspension and rapid spheres into the EasyCEP magnet. 
for a second round of separation. Incubate at room temperature. Check the product information sheet for incubation times. Collect the enriched cell suspension using a 2 mil or 10 mil pipette, depending on whether you're using the 5 mil or 14 mil side of the magnet. This time, collect the entire cell suspension. Collect the suspension from top to bottom, taking care not to disturb the particles. Transfer the enriched cell suspension to a new tube. Once you remove the old tube from the magnet, you will see the smear of unwanted cells and particles held along the back and bottom of the tube. Place the sample back into the magnet for a third round of separation. There is no need to add more EasySep particles. You will see the cell suspension become less red with each magnetic separation. Your enriched cells are now ready for use. If you have any questions regarding EasySep Direct, please feel free to contact us.